Hey, what's up guys, Imp here and today I've got a fresh, fresh, fresh message for you Boneklings. I know you're not good at taking criticism and you mostly search for confrontations with fat retards who can't defend themselves, so you most likely won't react to this video, but if you want to I give you the permission, so you can, you can do it if you want to, I won't report you or anything. Just before any of you wonder why I don't speak German in this video, I wanted to make sure Boneklings can understand me. I didn't want to write subtitles and I also don't want translation mistakes by his little worker bees. So this video will be completely in English, just for you Boneklings. I don't know how many of you have seen it, but lately Boneklings reacted to a video I was in. It was a Drakus stream where he was very drunk and I visited him like three or four times. And in Bone Kling's reaction, he skipped all my parts and was like, nope, no, no, sorry, no, chipmunk. Oh, what? Oh, no. <laughs> nope, sorry. No, thank you. Uh, wait, wait, wait. No, thank you. Cool. Oh, oh, my God. God. Hello, Rainer. Oh, no, thank you. Nope. Nope. No thank you, Chipmunk. <laughs> Many of you wondered why. Well, the reason is very simple. I got asked by Oligo if I want to make a reaction on his reaction, on a Bone Kling's reaction and so on for the joke of making a reaction chain. Although I don't like reaction videos the way Bone Kling's does it at all, I still made it. And back then I even said that Bone Kling's is a quite likable guy, but I also criticized him for his obvious overacting for complaining about stuff he does himself and I said that reaction videos are the least creative work you can do on YouTube whatsoever. That basically was enough. The video was in German so I don't really exactly know what his little toadies told him and they also complain about me posting a spear in the Boneklings discord but you know that's not the reason. First of all, if you can make fun of other people in your stream and your videos but you cry like a little baby if someone criticizes you, fucking delete yourself. But there's more. Reaction channels are the fucking cancer of YouTube. You basically just steal someone else's creative work and then you show it to the people with your fucking little face in the corner. You don't ask them for permission, you don't share your money with the people you earned the money from and you don't even edit your fucking video. You just show the fucking work of someone else in its entirety while saying something like Oh! Ha 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 ha! Oh, give me a break. No, he didn't say it. Oh, <laughs> just to make this clear, I don't have a problem with videos containing other people's videos. If you show short clips to give context, if you make YouTube poops montages, no problem at all. I'm also completely fine with reactions like H3, PewDiePie or even the Fine Bros do it. They show clips, they make fun of it and they edit their shit and so on. But what you do is straight re-uploading. You just Put your little face in the corner, that's it. You just re-upload other people's content. It's like if you would copy Drakus posters, put a little sticker in the corner and then sell them right next to his house saying like, oh, I transformed it into something else. Look in this corner, there's a little bone cling sticker. Please give me 10 bucks. And whatever your fucking little community says, there's no fucking point in watching the video again. You showed everything. There's no... Vi no point in going to YouTube and watching the original video again. To be honest, if you watched a 20 minute video in a Boneklings reaction, would you go to YouTube and watch the same fucking video you just watched again? Well, if yes, it proves my point. And if no, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why would you watch the fucking 20 minute video of the fat retard saying the same shit again you already heard? There are only like three or four Boneklings reactions anyways. There's like Whatever in the Boneklink stream is, it's like, oh, or uh, retarded laughing, oh, I'm so stoned at the moment from a medical marijuana, oh, or fucking like, give me a break, oh, give me a break, oh, no, he didn't say that, oh, give me a break. What the fuck, dude? But let's see how Boneklink sees himself. 
I, I, I'm i like one of those, like, okay, so this is going to be a weird reference, but stick with me for a little bit. You know how, like, they have, like, like underwater animals who have, like, little fish and shit who, like, live in their mouth and, like, just, like, clean out all, like, the little bits of shit in their mouth? But, like, the big animals, they like, they don't eat that little fish, you know? Because he's, like, helping them out. And, like, the little fish, he gets food and shit by eating all the shit out of his teeth. That's what I am. I'm the little fish eating all the shit out of Drake's teeth. And, you know, we're like a symbiotic sort of relationship. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? It's not a symbiosis. You're a fucking parasite. You're sucking their views. It's like you're the host of a freak show. And instead of caring for your freaks, you force them to be in your show whether they like it or not. You try to suck all their views and the credit for it. You're not a fucking fish in Drake's mouth. You're a fucking parasite. Actually, Bontlings made a more accurate description of himself once. He didn't notice he was because he thought he would talk about Drache, but it fits quite well on Bone Clings. My content is fucking horrible. I just sit in front of a screen and like stare at it and do nothing at all. I don't make anything creative whatsoever, and yet I'm going to make a career out of that? Okay. I I don't I don't I don't understand that. Like makes no sense to me. Oh, you don't understand that well then. Fucking stop it. Delete yourself. Bonklings, you only get views from Drachen haters. You yourself showed us a graph where you got like 95% of your views from German speaking countries without speaking German and maybe even more because people use proxy servers. I wonder how you got them. Here we go, right there. <laughs> <laughs> that shows you pretty much where everyone's from. But what did you do for it? You just recycle old Rache videos. And people watch it because they're addicted to watching that fat moron and they don't want to give him the view, so they give it to you. Because they think you're not an asshole as he is, but turns out they are wrong. Also, you fit in the YouTube algorithm quite well because you can upload three long videos each day. How can you do this? Producing three videos a day is very hard, but stealing three videos a day is no work at all. It's fucking easy. Let's compare what Drache has to do for a new video and what you do. Even though he's a moron and he does all of this poorly, he is coming up with an idea, he's writing a script, he's filming the video, he's cutting it, then he's rendering it. Ha ha ha, rendering is not working, ha ha ha. And then he's uploading. Well, what do you do? You get a link from your Reddit or from like Charles or something. Then you watch the video and you press the record button on your OBS while saying like, ha ha, look at this fat moron. Ha ha, this idiot. Ha ha ha. And then you fucking upload the uncut stream recording. Wow, great creative work. I wonder how you managed to react to all of Drache's videos from the last five years in just less than one year. Face it, you're completely talentless. You were nothing before someone showed you Drache. Nobody wanted to see your fucking bad videos or your, your fucking bad acting. <laughs> Deb, I told you, unless you want to be the man in the relationship, you have to learn to zip that lip and cross those legs. I don't want to be a man! I know you don't, but I don't think you understand that every time you open up your mouth, you're chopping another man's balls off. <laughs> I saw your channel when you found Drache. You had like a few thousand subscribers, but your videos got like 20 views, 50 views, not even 100 most times. Now they check it out because they say like, oh, that's the dude that watches the Drache videos. Let's see what he also does. You're nothing without the creators you steal from and you don't even put a link to their original video in the description. Still, you complain if someone else does it with your videos. And not only you're watching Drache's videos without permission, you watch a fucking subtitled re-upload. And in Drache's case, I don't even feel bad for him if someone lowers his income because He's a complete asshole and he doesn't know how to use money anyways. We all saw Drache spending hundreds of bucks on Facebook games and amiibos while having electricity bills to pay. But now, after you stole all of his videos, you steal from everyone. If you don't have anything left to steal from, 
You just recycle the already stolen content and react to your old reaction. Wow, great fucking work, dude. Delete yourself. Although doing nothing creative and just uploading stolen content, you made thousands of dollars with it, but you're still not sharing and you're still begging for more. The only thing at least a bit creative were your songs. Oh, wait, the lyrics were written by the community, the instrumentals were all taken from famous songs, so you you basically just recorded it. Great fucking job, dude. You're nothing without your community writing subtitles or lyrics for you, but you still want all the money for your own. And people still like you because you're that happy laughing guy from California. And oh, a guy from an exotic place also watches that fat imbecile from Bavaria and that's what defines you. You're not like the next rainbow sheep or something. You're just one random guy from America that has other fair use laws than we have and that doesn't understand the word German. You do nothing creative. Still you think you deserve shitloads of money for it. And you even told Drache to delete himself, even though he's your only source of getting money while you lower his income. I think everyone else's world would be much improved if Drake was gone. Incredibly improved. The only thing that you've done good for this world, Drake, is that you spawned a lot of creative people making awesome stuff like O2 Percenter, News from the Shanza, me. I think everyone else's world would be much improved if Drake was gone. Incredibly improved. Let's see what Bonklinks approximately earns in a month. Well, First, he has 600 subscribers this month and last month, so he earns $2.50 per subscriber, which is approximately 1,500 bucks a month. Then he made this month 2 million video views, which is around $2,000. And he got $6,000 with donations. I know some people that subscribe to him that watched um, the streams and saw that he earned around like $300 a day with donations. But some some days he earns only like 40, but other days he earns like 1,800. So in, in both months it was like around 6,000. And he also is a Twitch partner, which means he can get Twitch ad revenue. I don't know how much that is, but I guess it's a bit, so he earned around 10,000 bucks in January and in December, but still he says shit like this. He has not been able to pay his power bill because he has been busy buying different computer equipment and laptops and all sorts of stuff that makes me really jelly because I don't even have a washing machine. Boohoo, I earned around 10,000 bucks with stolen content and I can't even buy a washing machine. Ooh. Dude, what the fuck? Delete yourself. One more point where Boneklings is making the Drache transformation is his banning behavior. He banned people on his Twitch a few months ago for speaking German, while almost all of your viewers are from Germany. I know people you banned from your Discord that were moderators because they criticized you or because they have also been in another Discord server you don't like and you just fucking kicked them some of them gave you a th few hundred dollars and you still kick them because they criticized you for something dude what the fuck you you banned me yeah okay i i asked you when you are gonna going to delete yourself on twitch but you responded like ha 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 don't be salty man ha 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 all good don't take it so seriously ha ha and then you banned me yeah you fucking hypocrite delete yourself and after you banned me on Twitch, you also banned me on Twitter while I haven't tweeted anything to you. And people asked you while you banned Imp and you were like, Imp? I, do, I don't know who that is. Hmm. Imp, Imp. Hmm. I have no idea. You're bad at lying, dude. Stop it. You're you're fucking Drache. You're, you're making obvious lies where everyone knows you're lying. What the fuck, dude? Delete yourself. Bonklinks, you suck everyone's dick who's a bit famous and could give you a push. We saw it on iBlali. We also have this one here. Imp German top level hater mentioned you too. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. 
That's awesome. He makes good videos. Oh, sweet. He does jump cuts. Ah, he probably does good jump cuts. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. He mentioned bonnet clicks. That's fine. That's good. That's fine. That's fine. Next step, Gronk. <gasps> oh, imagine. Imagine if we got Gronk to mention me. Everybody likes bone clinks. Come on. Come on. Come on. Everybody likes the bonnet clicks. Everybody likes the bonnet clicks. Anyways, if you don't get mentioned, you start to cry. Guys. Actually, things are going pretty badly for me. I wasn't in the news in the Shanza. I wasn't in the cyberbullying documentary. I'm not going to be asked questions by <sighs> Drake. It's 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 pretty sad. It's really really sad, guys. I don't it's like nobody like the bonus clicks. Nobody like bonus. I just don't understand it. It's just it's it's. I'm personally, I feel bad. I feel very bad about how the way things are going, guys. I don't know how I'm going to continue on. Boo-hoo. They didn't mention me in the documentary. Drache didn't make a video against me. Well, I'm not Drache, but if you want a video against you, here you go. I know you most likely won't make an answer to or a reaction to this video because I'm not a fat retard that doesn't know how to speak English, but... I know you will still watch it because you're as narcissistic as Drache is. Speaking of foreign languages, how is your German learning going? Unlike Drache, who learned his bad English skills on his special needs school, you even get paid by people to learn German on Duolingo so you can visit Drache and speak to him in German. That's what the people wanted to see, but you said them something like, oh, I didn't want to go on Duolingo for five weeks now because mm, I didn't feel like it. You paid me, but mm, whatever. And I also won't visit the Schanze. I, I will go to Berlin so you can... You can have one day where you meet me and tell me how great I am, but visiting Drachen, nah, that's hating. I mean, lowering his income is totally fine, but actually going to him and talking to him, dude, who do you think I am? I'm not a bad person. I'm, that's hating. As a special service, I will now teach you some important German words for you. Are you ready? Speak after me. Ich bin Bohnklings. Ich bin komplett untalentiert. Ich klaue anderer Leute Videos. Ich sollte mich löschen. Great! That's it, folks. I guess Bohnklings won't be the last person I make an episode of Delete Yourself against. Most likely ne next episode will be in German again. And what's a YouTube beef without a diss track? And there are many people who don't like Bone Clinks. One of them is Heisenberger. He made a diss track against Bone Clinks. I made a small feature appearance there. You can you can watch it here. And see you next time on Lösch dich. How Bone Clinks would say it. Bone Clinks, please delete yourself. Viewers of Bone Clinks, please stop donating to him. He has got enough, even if nobody donated to him. He would still have like three or four thousand bucks a month. So it, there's no need to donate to him. He's he's a fucking rich guy. He also said to this video that the guy was wasting five bucks because he gave it to a poor dude in Sri Lanka. And if someone gives him three bucks, he says like, oh, thank you. You keep the show going. Yeah, right, dude. Keep the show going. Your fucking show where you have no costs. You... You need 10,000 a month? Yeah. Fuck you, dude. Delete yourself. Born oh. Clint. Mm. Delete yourself. By the way, a few days ago, Born Clint got banned on Twitch because maybe because he used other people's content. So I hope that happens again. I hope you get banned. And I hope that also happens on YouTube. If you don't delete yourself, if they delete you, no problem for me. I'm fine with it. Oh, yeah. Oh, now I'm gonna make reactions to other people's videos. Please give me a hundred bucks. You keeping, <laughs> you're keeping the show going. Bones, <laughs> delete yourself.